Our next beautiful guest that I have joining me today is Jekka St. John. Hi. Oh, I love when you're here <laughs> so much. Thank you. Thank you're, you for having me. Anytime. You know, you are a boss mom. You really are. You're juggling it all. So you've got children, obviously, mm -hmm. which are how old? So I have three boys. Oh, gosh. Um, you're a boy mom. Yes, okay. a boy mom. And so um, my oldest is 18. Okay. And then my middle is 15. And then my youngest is 11. And you so look so young. They're all, okay. yeah, I had them young, I guess. I mean, they're all spread out a little bit, but I had my my 18 year old, I was um, 22 or okay. 23. Yeah. yeah, 23. Yeah, so not too head. young. Yeah, yeah not too yeah. young. Um, they keep you busy. They're, they're close enough in age. Um, you know, how has it been raising them, juggling? you know, being a boy mom, mm -hmm. having children, and then your professional career. Yeah, I mean, oh gosh, it was a juggle, like looking back, and I don't even know how I got through it sometimes, because, I mean, I truly was a single mom, so. You're doing um, it on your own. Yeah, I was doing it. it on my own. So I was like, my my boys would definitely go <laughs> with me to some appointments. Like, sh if I had to show like one home or whatnot, um, when they were little, they had their iPads, and they, they would come just with play. You. Yeah, and right. I would have them in the car, Sometimes if it was like a vacant home, I'd like park in the garage and then like they put could the hang windows out. down. They, yeah, they would hang out. They were right. they're trained to like go with know, the flow. Yeah, they didn't bother me when the door was closed because they knew I was probably doing business. Um, they wouldn't um, bother me while I was on the phone. Like mom, mom, mom. You know, they knew when I was on the phone. Like they was like running mom, and then be like, oh, mom's working. Right, because they know so. that this is feeding yeah. them. Right, you yeah. have to do your job. Yeah. So I kind of like had to like train them. You know, when they were little, just to, mom works, when I'm on the phone, be respectful, you know, be quiet until I'm done, stuff like that. So, but they're easy. My kids are so good. They're so easy. They're just boys. They're. Well, I feel like that's a lot has to do with the way that you've raised them, though, too. Yeah, I think you know? so. I mean, I didn't really baby them too much, you know. They all, I just wanted them to be men and know how to do stuff and work hard and, you know, be able to, like, be self-sufficient, you know, so. Um, kind of the way my parents raised us, girl, well, my dad was in the Marines and he was a, you know, a Marine, oh. so he kind of raised four of his daughters to be oh. kind of military okay, style. So four so, girls. Yeah, four girls. And so I think I just kind of um, raised my kids that way. Too, yeah, emulated so. that. Yeah. And which I think is um, real neat that you were able to raise them to be that way. And also I think that they've gained a lot of respect from you, you know, seeing that the way that you had to work while raising them, yeah. teaching them respect, yeah. go with the flow, coming along with you when they needed to come with you. Right. Um, yeah, they, I think when they, you know, as they get a little bit older, like my 18 year old for Mother's Day wrote me a super sweet card and like made me a little succulent plant. But just, you Aww. know, he just wrote me such a, a nice card that showed, you know, that he, you know, watches me and he's like what would my mom do in this situation or you know he sees that I work hard and you know I provide for them so um he appreciates you, know, just, you. He's, yeah you're he really seeing the appreciation yes. now that he's yeah. 18 years old yeah. more so right he sees how hard it is now that not, he has his first job and you know making money and stuff like that so um but I mean I would never change anything no it's, you know I'm they're your everything yeah, they're my everything I'm blessed to have them and you know, they made me who I am today. So, you know, I have a reason to work hard and, and provide. And, and I'm a total boy mom as it goes. I do all the boy stuff. And we all snowboard, ride dirt bikes, skateboard, go to the beach, like wakeboard, do all everything oh. extreme sports. They're so, so like, blessed to have a mom like you that does it all with them. Yeah, I do it all with them. And right. they can't, like, be a wuss because I'm like, I'm doing this. Right, <laughs> exactly. Get on the dirt bike or get on, like... You know, because I'm going to be riding with you, so, yeah. Which is pretty amazing because you were in a home raised with girls. So mm -hmm. the fact that you were able to raise these boys and raise them like um, they, they didn't skip a beat. You know, you're a single mom, and yet you were doing all the things that a dad would do with them. Yeah, right? and I think that's why I probably, like, overcompensated a little bit. I was always into extreme sports and stuff. I lived up in Mammoth for a few years after high school, and... Um, you know, I, I go to the river, I go to the desert, I do like all that kind of stuff. So okay. I was already like that. We grew up in Alpine, so it was kind of like we were wild outdoor kids. Um, but I think, you know, having the boys, it's like I had to do stuff with them so that they weren't left out. You know, I wanted them to be able to snowboard and know what the mountains are like and go ride a dirt bike and see what the desert's like, go to the river and be in the boat. And, you know, just right. have all the different experiences of 
fun stuff that right. you know we have in San Diego. So right. and that they would enjoy. Yeah, right. They love it. They love it all. So it's all about them. It's fun. Right? It's all about them. <laughs> and it's about me because I'm like I love you it love too. It. That's you know? right. So, it's a win-win. It's yeah, win. I have my little buddies now. I just love it. Yeah. And you said your youngest is. 11. 11. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you've got yeah. an 11 year old. Yeah. And so they're easy now, you know, 10 years ago, it was tough. Yeah. It was really tough. And, um, you know, now it's like, wow, there's, it's like, I don't even have to, you know, they, they fend for themselves pretty much. The hard, like, you know, the hard work paid off. Yeah. That's how you look definitely. at it. Right. Yeah. It was all worth it in the end. Yeah. If you could give a piece of advice to a young mom that is, you know, new, newly a mom in a professional career, trying to juggle both. What kind of advice would you give now that you've raised boys and raised, raised children? Um, don't be too hard on yourself. You know, just go at your own pace. Don't ever compare yourself to anyone else. Everyone's struggles are a little bit different. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know what they have. You know, I used to compare myself like to other maybe realtors like, oh, they have so many sales and I don't have as many. Blah, blah. But I didn't have like a supporting husband that was home with the kids or, you know, that that also supported me when things were slow. Like I had to struggle on my own and I couldn't compare myself to someone else's life. No, you, know? you can't. And there's other people who have their different struggles that might, you know, they work harder than you because their struggles, they might be battling cancer or something at the same time as they're working. So you just don't know everybody's story and the struggles that they have. So it's, you know, don't compare yourself. Just do the best you can okay. with the situation you have and don't be too hard on yourself. Like I just try to beat my record every year, you know? And if I don't, I don't. But if I do, I'm happy, you know? It's like my, I'm my own competition and, and that's how you should keep it. Good for you. Well, you've learned to juggle it well. Obviously you're, you're successful and you've got great kiddos and um, you're, you're balancing it the best yeah. you can. You're doing yeah. a great job. I'm a Libra so I can balance everything pretty good. You're like, I got this. Like, yeah. It's just another day, I've got yep. this. I'll roll with the punches. Yeah. It's fun though definitely worth it. It makes life, life exciting. So. Well, you're doing great at it. It was such a pleasure well, having you. this interview with you today and learning more about you and your sweet boys. Yes, thank you for having me. I love it. Anytime. All right.